Hello class 9 students studying Beehive under NCRT books. Today, I Harpreet Kaur from English Rock Club is here to teach you chapter 1, the fun they had from the same book. Without waiting further, let's move straight into the reading of the chapter and understanding of the chapter. So why to wait? Let's move on. Nowadays, we all are going in a time when we all are studying virtually. Our schools are closed and we are rely relying on the books, e-books only and we don't have the traditional books. Imagine a time when there won't be any traditional book, traditional book that is pa uh, the paper book. Children would be studying in future uh, with all the e-books and they would be having their teacher of their own in form of computer at their home. There can be a time like this in future. This is what our author Isaac Asinov has imagined. He's imagining a school that is run by computers and virtual classes are going on. Each and every child is working, uh, is taking schooling in his home only. And let's see what this author Isaac Asimov have to tell us about this few these future schools. Now let's move straight into the reading of the chapter. So here I am at the para one. Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page headed 17 May 2157, she wrote, Today Tommy found a real book. So the chapter starts with a diary entry by a girl and the time is the future time. This is 2020 now and it is 2157 more than a century after the present time. The heading she wrote in the diary entry was Today, Tommy found a real book. So, the child named Tommy had got a real book somewhere from his house. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather, look at it. Margie's grandfather told her that when Margie's grandfather was a little boy at that time, his grandfather, so it's grandfather's grandfather, so he's talking about his grandfather's grandfather, told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. So they have got such an old book in the house and uh, she was uh, really excited to see what's there in that book. They turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly. Now let's see what is the meaning of yellow and crinkly. So you see when you keep using the book, the sides, the corners of the book are little turned one and then that is called crinkly and they, uh, with the passage of time the white paper turns into yellow. It was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen, you know. And then when they turned back to the page before, it had the same words on it that it had when they read it at the first time. So she was very surprised. She was comparing that book with her computer screen with the books that she was reading uh, on her computer screen. So for she said that the more uh, firstly the uh, text was not movable. It was still and the same text was available the number of times you move back. Let's see what the this chapter has the surprises for us in the para 2. Let's proceed with the para 2. So here we are at paragraph 2. Geez, said Tommy, what a waste. When you are through with the book, you just throw it away. I guess our television screen must have had a million books 
on it and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. He said, what a nonsense. You just read one book and then throw it away because you don't want to read it again. And he, would, he won't be uh, throwing his television screen away because it, he had read plenty of books on it and it is still good for reading many, many, many more books on it. Same with mine, said Maggie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telly books as Tommy had. He has, he was 13. Here, in, here we are actually getting the age of the children. Margie was 11 years and Tommy was elder to him. He was 13 years. They were, uh, they were two years, uh, Tommy was two years elder to Margie. She said, where did you find it? In my house. He pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic. What's it about? School. So the girl was really surprised. The, he said that he, she wanted to inquire about from where he has got. Tommy simply said he had got it in, in his house. But he did not look at Margie as he was quite busy in reading the book. Tommy told Margie that the book was about school. Margie was so surprised and she was scornful because she did not like school. She said, school? Margie was scornful. School? What's there to write about school? I hate school. Margie always hated school but now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. So here in this paragraph, we are getting the reason of Margie's disliking the school. So the main reason is that her performance in geography section is going down and she is getting test more often and she is not able to fare well and her mother had to call the county inspector to get her teacher checked. Let's see further what's in the fourth paragraph of the chapter, the fun they had. So, so let's read the para together. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple, then took the teacher apart. So he here we are talking about this. He is the county inspector that was being called by Margie's mother as there was a problem in the uh, mechanical teacher. So let's uh, hear the description of uh, the county inspector is given. He was a round little man and had a red face and he was also carrying a box full of tools which contained some dials and wires. Okay, when he arrived at Margie's house, he smiled at her and in order to be uh, and in, in order to be friendly with the child, he also gave her an apple. And after doing so, after just have, uh, becoming a little friendly with the child, uh, the, the county inspector started uh, repairing the mechanical teacher. So for that, he took the teacher apart. That means he took, I mean, he just took apart the pieces of the uh, television screen that was uh, con that was considered to be their mechanical teacher. Marky had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again when she saw that the mechanical teacher was there in pieces and she was really wishing oh god let this count inspector don't know how to put this teacher again so that she'll be getting off from the school as the mechanical teacher was not uh, well okay as the mechanical teacher was not working properly she it was out of order but he knew how well all right so there it was again large and black and ugly with big green screen on which all the lessons shown and the questions were asked okay. to her disappointment the county inspector knew his job quite well and he was able to put the teacher back he was able to just put all the pieces of the teacher back within half within an hour only and again 
uh, it was uh, again it was the same again teacher after the county inspector had repaired the mechanical teacher so it looked the same as it was large and black and ugly the word ugly is been used because margi did not like the school that is why she has used the word ugly here and the big screen on which it is the screen on which the lessons were uh, displayed and the questions were asked the part of the part margi hated most was slot where she had to put homework and the test papers she always had to write them out in a punch code they made her learn when she was 6 years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time she said the worst thing the most unlikely thing for her was that slot through which she was entering her answer papers in that and uh, she used to she had to take a long time to write that uh, uh, paper in the punch codes which she was taught when she was just 6 years old she started learning the uh, how to uh, learn on uh, through mechanical teacher and at when she was 6 years old and uh, the worst part was that within a few moments uh, she uh, the mechanical teacher gave her the result okay and that means that the mechanical teacher calculated in no time in calculated in no time in no time stands for without i mean just in a flash of uh, a light only it was able to find out the answers and give the remarks and feedback etc to the child now let's move further to the fifth paragraph the inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted margis head he said to her mother it's not the little girl's fault Mrs Jones I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick those thing happen sometimes i have slowed it up to an average 10 year level actually the overall pattern of pro- of her progress is quite satisfactory and he patted margis head so before actually going out of the house uh, the county inspector actually uh, the county inspector told the margis mother what was the problem he said that margis performance was quite well quite satisfactory but the problem was in the mechanical teacher only and the geography section was a little geared up it was working a little faster so that that is why that was why margi wasn't able to give result in the geography section so it was not her fault but it was the fault of the machine that was giving her papers beyond her level margi was disappointed she had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether they had once taken tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely so she said to tommy why would anyone write about school okay. margi was recollecting here how she used to learn and what problems she had with her mechanical teacher and at this point we were at the point when she she was disappointed that the county inspector had not taken her mechanical teacher whereas when tommy had problem with his mechanical teacher they took uh, her his teacher away and he was not able to attend the school for full one month and margi also expected that oh she wished that oh he they would have taken the county inspector would have taken the teacher away and she would also enjoy because the teacher wasn't there and she needed not to work at all so she was very surprised as she disliked the uh, school so she was very surprised that ke- why anyone would write about school okay so uh, that uh, mark that is why she asked this question to tommy let's see that's all in this part of the video we'll find out in the next video what happened in the story next do write in the comment box which kind of school do you like the virtual school or the physical school whether you want to have a physical teacher or a computer teacher so we will be meeting in the next part see you till then and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends